Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is planting day. Uh, you probably saw my introductory video to my new garden. I'm setting up a, a new garden under a shade. This is the first time I'm farming under a shade. And when I posted these uh, photos on Facebook, you asked so many questions about my container garden. So as I plant today, I'm going to be answering uh, those questions. I'm also going to be giving tips on how to make a, a container garden successful. I've farmed in containers for now. This should be there like the 15th year also. So I have learned along the way. Uh, there are a few things that uh, I know and that, that work and others that don't work. So come with me on this journey as we plant our garden today. We're going to be planting together as well as we learn together. So here is my collection of seedlings. Probably not everything we are going to be planting in this garden, but most of what you're going to be planting is here. So as I already said, I was late to start most of the seeds, so I bought seedlings. Either way, I prefer to buy seedlings because they are easier and I also don't like raising seeds. It's, it's hard work, so <laughs> I skip the hard part and go to the, to the easy beautiful part so this is what we have for the garden we have some broccoli i just ordered a few i don't plant a lot of things because i like a diverse garden so i like so many things but in a few small small things this is spinach my favorite thing to grow you already know that by now i always, I always have spinach then uh, this is a uh, beetroot another favorite of mine then we have uh, the peppers these are Pili pili ho ho, that's what we call it locally, mostly called capsicum, the colored ones. This should be, okay, it's not labeled the color, but I know they are the colored one. I didn't order any green. So uh, that could be yellow and this is red. Oh, this is yellow, it's labeled, so that means that's red. Uh, this is bok choy. I don't like growing this so much, but it's very tasty. The reason why I don't like growing them, they are loved by pests. The worms the aphids i think almost every pest loves this one i don't have a lot of success with it but sometimes with a lot of care we get to harvest some and remember my garden is organic so i don't use chemical pesticides uh, these are spring onions i love growing spring onions as you can see when i moved this garden here we came with some spring onions over there uh, this is cabbage we have this should be red cabbage no, this is the usual cabbage and this is red cabbage. This is uh, this is another capsicum, not labeled. I don't know which one. We find out as we go. This is eggplant, almost died. I ordered this seeds over the weekend and because um, the weekend was a bit long, they took a bit longer to arrive and they were coming from quite a far, not very far though. But I didn't, uh, they, they came when they are almost dry, but they'll survive. They are not dead. This is curry kales. I also love growing. I don't like eating kales, but I grow them anyway. I love growing them, but I use mostly use them either for a bit of dressing than my animals, my chicken, my whatever, my rabbits. Yeah, this is purple basil. I have grown purple basil before, but last year I killed one of them. One of them died and I didn't get to harvest seed. So I ordered another purple basil to start from scratch again. I'll be very careful to make sure that I harvest seeds. And this is chamomile, a favorite of mine. Uh, in the other garden, I do have chamomile, but I didn't have any for you. I started seeds last week. They have not germinated, so I just had to order a chamomile. Uh, apart from that, we have seeds. Just a minute, I bring in the seeds. So, uh, I have coriander seeds. I do have some coriander seeds in the other garden, but coriander is very, it's not a happy, it's not a happy plant in my garden. I don't know why it doesn't like me. So it struggles. So the seeds I planted the other side have not germinated, not even one. But I bought another packet. I hope this one works. Never that serious. <laughs> then I have carrots. For some reason, carrots really love me. I also love carrots. 
I eat them in the garden. I've never had grown-up carrots. I eat baby carrots all the time. Yeah, so that's all we have for this garden. So we're going to be planting. And I know one of the questions, one of the most asked questions is where do I buy these crates from? I buy them online and they're delivered to my location. So I don't actually have a shop where I walk in and uh, buy. I just look for them on Facebook Market. I find the, the vendor who has the best. Uh, they, they usually have different qualities. You can buy the second one and ones, which are the ones I buy. Then they'll tell you, okay, the cracked ones have a different price from the whole ones. Something like that. When you order, they'll just give you the instructions. Then the next most asked question is, um, do I, uh, do I use potting mix? No, I don't use any potting mix. I use manure. I use manure and, uh, soil normal soil and just dig the soil from the ground then mix it with manure goat manure chicken manure you already know that i keep some animals so i i take all that manure like here we do have a lot of rabbit manure and goat manure so that's what i use for my 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 pot not pot my containers my crates i don't buy i've never bought soil never not red soil not potting mix none of those i just use this uh yeah that's all the other thing is uh, i prefer to start seedlings over seeds all the time. I don't like starting seeds, but sometimes some varieties, not so many seed racers have them, especially the exotic ones. You'll find not many people are raising them. So I start them from seeds. Then there are things you can't transplant. Like you can't transplant dania. You can't trans, okay, you can transplant carrots, but I've never found someone selling carrot seedlings. So those ones, I start them from seed. Uh, things like uh, when I, I grow maize, which is very rare, I don't like growing maize. It's a lot of work and the returns are not that happy for me. So I just like to do seedlings. I think those are the questions. When I remember the other questions you people asked as I plant, I'm going to be answering them. So let's get planting. So the other thing is uh, you need to know which ones which plants like each other so you put them together like the brassicas this cauliflower and uh, cabbage i like to plant them with uh, the onion family We are done planting this garden. Uh, we are actually not completely done because we underestimated the space. We brought about 250 seedlings. We've not been able to, to fill the whole garden. The upper layer is not planted. So we'll come back and complete that. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We've um, enjoyed the, the journey. And I hope you're also enjoying the journey and learning something. Always remember, if you have a vision, add some passion. And I'll see you in the next one.